Hello everybody, uh, Toby here again with a 216 Auto Restoration and a 2023 Canon Maverick Sport Max. Um, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about today, installed the rear window of the Tusk rear window. Fit very nicely. And I got the windshield installed also. And also installed the roof. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the roof. The roof was a was a near as bad as it <clears throat> seemed to me anyways. I come in two pieces, got the back piece, got the rear and the front half, two halves. Pretty much all of the holes were pre-drilled. The only thing that I had trouble with was uh, the placement of the weather stripping. It says in the thing they sent me 300 millimeters of weather stripping and then 7,000 millimeters of weather stripping that should go all around the whole cage but basically all they sent me was about three feet of this maybe four feet of this <clears throat> so definitely not near enough <clears throat> to go around the roof basically it should Go all the way under here, all the way up there. So I'm gonna contact Rocky Mountain ATV and tell them that they didn't send me near the weather stripping that was supposed to be in the box. And hopefully they can send that back to me and I can remove the roof and put the weather stripping on. So um, I installed the roof anyways because I actually want to ride this before waiting another few days. And uh, <clears throat> But it was a basically pretty easy install. I'm gonna show you. I installed the rear half of the roof first. Just this one big piece. There's a bolt on this corner here. And a bolt on this corner over here also. But on the rear of the roof, you can see those two bolts up there. Once I got those installed loosely, so I could move the roof around. Then I went ahead and put the front piece on. This front piece <clears throat> had pre drilled holes also. <clears throat> One was right here. here also if you can see that here on the top of the roof right there in this little divot right here and also the same on the other side and all the way across the roof all of these bolts right here all of these holes are all pretty drilled <clears throat> so that made it pretty pretty easy for me so it came in here the instructions are um terrible i would say they were absolutely terrible you can't even they don't even send you instructions they send you this sheet right here it says uh, important instructions go to instructions.brp.com or ask your dealer to get a printed copy so Basically, you have to go online if you have service where you are and try to follow them instructions. And they were um, very, very confusing. So I basically just kind of figured this out myself. So this bracket comes with the roof panel. And as you can see how it sits in here, this faces, these tabs face down. There's two pre-drilled holes in my roll cage right here and they already had the inserts and these bolts fit right into there perfectly so i had no problem with that and then i <clears throat> just installed all the bolts along the top here and secured it down and left it all kind of loose <clears throat> until i got it all mounted up and set in place and evened out the only holes that I actually had to drill 
are right here. <clears throat> you can see that one right here. The bolt on top right there. That's where the two pieces join together. And right here, here, and here, and over on the other side, they want you to use rivets. They sent me rivets, but I'm no rivet gun, but I do have a rivet gun, but, but I decided not to use rivets. I decided to use bolts and nuts instead so I can take this apart when I get weather stripping and put weather stripping on here and get it all sealed up. But other than that, this roof was actually a pretty much a breeze to install. Um, it looks very good on there. And I'll be able to take it off very quickly. The only thing I'll have to do, I won't have to remove all of these bolts, just remove these two bolts here. Just remove those two. And then I'll be able to, those two bolts here, the two up front. Those two back there that are holding it and these two back here. So basically remove eight bolts and I'll be able to take that roof off. But there you have it. There's the, <clears throat> the roof on my Can-Am to <clears throat> 2023 Can-Am Maverick Sport Max. Uh, roof looks very good, sits on there nice. And it's gonna be Definitely a deterrent for the rain and stuff to get in on us. So I hope everybody liked the videos. Um, maybe when I take the roof off to put the new weather stripping on, I will do another complete basic install of the roof to give everybody a uh, easier guide to follow along with. Yeah. Uh, anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Starting on the 72 Chevy truck pretty soon. And, uh, well, thank you again and take care.